Good evening, this is Mellow Math Teacher here, ready for a personal challenge video related to the Paper Mario of the Thousand Year Door Community challenges in the Glitz Pit Discord. Although this is not an official video, this demonstrates my uh, submission for the Paper Mario Community Challenge. I asked to have a challenge in which the x not math from the Lord Crump battle in Chapter 5 to come back. Namely, there will be 10 different attacks, one of each of the attack powers, 1 through 10, and they must all be single strikes. You cannot split them up into 2 plus 2, making 4 in this one like you could with Lord Crump. Single strikes are the only ones that are allowed. Alright, just making note what I need to do here. I particularly like this challenge because it requires you to come up with a plan to do all the attack powers while also forcing you to have a good setup for Bowser and Cami, which follows immediately afterward. But they have their own set of restrictions that I will describe to you once the battle actually starts. Couple things to be aware of. Um, the Grotus X's each boost Grotus's defense by one, so it'll be very helpful in splitting up the being able to do the exact same aim attack for different amounts of damage. The other thing to keep in mind is that since the damage numbers one through ten add up to fifty-five. While Grotus only has 50 health, that means that I have to choose one of the numbers 6 through 10 to leave for last. Otherwise, I'm going to kill him prematurely, and that would violate the challenge's restrictions. So there's the 10. Alright. Body slam... There's the three. And a power jump for Mario. We'll take care of the eight. You should also be aware that I perhaps, uh, I probably shouldn't have done this, but I have the Merlee curse active. So that might interfere with my attack powers, but I'm using, to counteract that, I'm wearing all or nothing in order to be able to fail action commands and not do any damage in Mario's case. And I'm using Flurry as my main method of partner attacking because I can intentionally miss a body slam, for instance, if Flurry gets powered up. This time Mario's going to multi-bounce. And Flurry has a clear body slam. For a five. I've got six damage numbers to go. Mario can jump on one of these. And one left plus one defense for Grotus will bring Flurry's attack power to four. Now Grotus' defense is 4, so Flurry can do 
Flurry can body slam for, um, two. And Mario can now power jump for seven. Except, ugh, Merle's gonna appear, which means I have to botch this action command on purpose. Because I can't do ten twice. Let's see. I did the two. I only have one, six, seven, and nine remaining. Oh. I'm trying to think here. Let's see, I'll have Mario get rid of three of the four Grotus X's, so there will be two left, and then I'll have Goombella fail a head bonk action command, and that will only do one. And now in this state, Mario can take care of the seven. The only remaining ones are six and nine. So let's see. Oh, I can I can pull out Coops. Coops can shell slam for six. And then, um, I guess I'll supernova for nine. Right, uh, a flurry gale force will get rid of them. There isn't exactly a more efficient way to get to nine, at least I can't think of any right off the bat. So yeah, it's just gonna have to be this. I'll have to complete three of these mashing sequences. Alright, now I'll just leave it there. And that will be the end of this battle. Grotus Math Edition is complete. But we can't rest yet because we've got another difficult battle to get through. Bowser and Cammy. Right. So here are the restrictions for Bowser and Cammy. I cannot attack Cammy until she uses at least four different moves. And I less, must let Bowser jump on Mario and on every partner that makes an appearance in this battle at least once. And whatever move is lost when he does that jump, that move is gone forever. Not even when it comes back.
Now this bit right here, ever since I was a little kid, I thought this is hilarious. Move one step, and she will breathe no more. Step. Go ahead and kill her, Grotus. What are you waiting for? Alright, here comes the Bowser and Cami battle. These guys have been comic relief throughout the entire freaking game, but this time they mean serious business. Alright. Flurry has appeared in this battle, which means I need to let Bowser jump on her at least once. Which also means I can't let her die before the jump. If Flurry dies before she gets jumped on, this challenge gets auto-failed. I probably should have swapped out someone else right before doing the supernova, come to think of it. That boo is about to throw me a boo sheet, but this is an item-free run, so I can't let her... I can't let them give it to me. Right. Actually, I think it's a good thing that Flurry came in here in this state rather than another partner because Flurry can keep regaining HP over time via lip lock. God, I wish I were better at that flame super guard. Alright, so Kami has attacked. That's one of her four attacks. Her other moves are heal, attack buff, defense buff, invisible, electrify, and status heal. No, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen her use status heal, but according to Mario Wiki, she has that move. Alright, so let's spin jump again. And let's lip lock this again. Try to keep Flurry as long alive as long as we can. Alright, that's heal. That's two different moves. To my annoyance, she uses heal a lot in this battle. Get block one more time. The plan is, as soon as I get the opportunity to, I'm going to use Sweet Feast in order to get our stats back up. Alright, so Flurry cannot use moves now, and what that means is Flurry cannot use moves for the rest of the battle, even if the option appears for her to be able to use moves. I could just keep Flurry around and let Mario just uh, wail on him and let Flurry do nothing but appeal. If I want to get partner usage up again I can switch to another partner but I have to let that partner get jumped on at some point all right I let Mario get jumped on Mario can't hammer anymore for the rest of the battle that's defense buff 
All I need Cammy to do is use attack buff, invisible, electrify, or status heal, and then I'll be able to attack her again. I could really use more FP, so I'll use the Sweet Feast now. That was a pretty mess, Sweet Feast. See, she can use moves now, but I'm not allowed to have her use any moves anymore for the rest of the battle. So I'll just have her keep appealing, I guess. It's another heal, which means another turn I can't hurt Cammy. I was lucky. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got the guarding timing down. So that wouldn't have been an issue. Kami's used four different moves now. She used huge on herself. Which means that I am free to attack Kami at this point. Alright. So I'm going to take Kami out as quickly as possible. So that she can't heal Bowser any. Wow. That was... I hate spring jump, it sucks. Let's use let's just use spin jump because I'm much better at it. Thanks, Merly. Nine and twelve, that's twenty-one. So Cammy has twenty-nine health left. You clever devil. And Mario can't use hammer for the rest of the battle. trying to think. I mean, Flurry can't do much of anything. Can't jump. I can't hammer. I mean, I'd like the Sweet Feast, but I can't do that yet. I can let Flurry die at this point. Flurry has been jumped on already, so I don't need Flurry to have I don't need Flurry to be alive anymore. As long as I don't pull out any other partners, I can just finish out this battle however I like. Although I can't use the hammer anymore. Watch the shadow. Dang it! God, I am... Why am I so terrible at Spring Jump?
I don't know what it is. I can't see it. Oh, what's next knot? Cool. Alright, uh... Too sweet feast. Gets more FP. Get some health for Flurry. Ah! God, that sweet feast was atrocious. Alright, so that... Assuming I didn't miss a heal for her, that's 37. That brings her down to 22. She can only appeal. And two, that brings her up to 30. That's 15. Defense boost from Merle. Alright, so assuming I don't screw this up, Kami Koopa's done. There we go. Yeah, this is free the rest of the way. As long as I don't lose Mario's jump command, this this will be cake. In fact, this is, it's cake anyway. Cause all I need to do is just spam appeal and get a cup and get enough for a supernova in, and I'm set. Yeah, it's over. This is free. I guess this would have been a little too easy, considering how challenging the actual chapter eight part two challenges are. Alright, let's finish this with a bang. Eh, not yet. Now let's let's finish it the old fashioned way. And I'm recording this after my actual community challenge submission. Which took an eternity, so I've gotten quite a bit better at super guarding Bowser's attacks. Sweet. Alright. Next time is the Shadow Queen. It's gonna be crazy. I don't know if I can make it. But we'll try. We sure as heck will try. Alright. Do your reading, do your homework, go to office hours, and ask your instructor questions. See you next time.